Ooh, BRN 180 or the Bryn 2? That's tough. Let's compare. What's up guys and welcome to our comparison video of the Brownells BRN 180 and the CZ Bryn 2. Now at first glance, they might look like very different guns. One is an AR variant, so to say, because there's no buffer tube. And the other one is very futuristic looking, very European, uh, looks like it should be in a movie somewhere. But there actually are some similarities. The main one being that they both shoot 5.56 and they are both piston driven firearms. But let's get underneath the hood and talk about the pros and cons of both. Okay guys, so let's get into the Bren 2. If you guys have followed the channel for a little while, you guys know this is one of my favorite firearms. I love this thing, it is a beast. Uh, but let's get into some of the pros and cons. So out of the box, it has controls on both sides. So it is a fully ambi firearm. The charging handle can be put on either side, left or right. So it doesn't matter if you're a southpaw shooter, right hand shooter, it's a very, very comfortable to manipulate and to use. Uh, it does take AR mags, so you don't have to buy some proprietary, something special to run it. It does come with a nice rail, so you can throw optics, lights, whatever your flavor is. Um, and there is a small aftermarket for it, so there's definitely other stuff out there if you wanted to sort of change it up. It's in a very, very, very soft shooting gun. Even as a new shooter, I'm able to stay on target, rapid firing pretty well. And I think that's really cool. Now, if I have to get into any cons, and I hate to do it, uh, this is not a small firearm. This is not a backpack gun, maybe a small suitcase, not a fold up and very concealable size gun. It, it doesn't have a lot of surface area. Um, you're grabbing pretty big hunk of gun. Uh, and the other thing is it's a European gun. So if something goes wrong with it, you may have problems finding parts or finding somebody to work on it. If something goes wrong, you're probably having to send it out to CZ. Now we've had this for about a year and a half and we haven't had any issues. She has ran like an absolute champ for me. However, if that day comes, your firearm probably will be down for a little while because you'll have to send it out. So with that being said, let's go shoot it. Now let's talk about the Brownells BRN 180. If you guys have followed the channel or the socials again um, for a little while, you guys know that I love this firearm as well. It is super fun to shoot, super soft, soft shooting. Um, and I definitely put it in the camp of an AR variant because it doesn't have a buffer tube. You can put just a regular brace or stock or whatever you want on the back. However, the rest of it is all AR controls, all AR accessories. You can use it with your existing AR. It is basically an AR without a buffer tube, um, but with the reliability of a piston driven firearm. So I really love this thing. The weight's really good on it. Like I said, you can dress it out any way you want. It's kind of like a Lego set. You can throw whatever you want on it. However, if I absolutely had to nitpick and Give a few cons trying to be fair uh, the charging handle is cannot go on the other side it is permanently on this side which as a left hand shooter that's a dream for me but for right hand shooters you either have to come over top or underneath kind of like an ak uh, and the other thing is that it's a relatively new firearm so you don't see that many out in the wild yet but if you are looking for the reliability of a piston driven firearm, but you really love AR controls and accessories, or you have existing ARs that you'd like to use, it's a super solid option. Let's go shoot it.
Okay, so you guys saw they both ran like absolute champs. I did forget to mention that they both do have an adjustable gas block. So if you wanna shoot suppressed or if you have different weather situations, um, you can fine tune that. So again, that's another similarity. Uh, they both shoot 5.56. Five, uh, they're both piston driven firearms, which means they're super reliable. So it really comes back to, if you want a firearm that shoots 5.56, five, but has the reliability of being piston driven, both of these firearms are phenomenal choices. Now, if I was to, or if I were to be forced to pick just one first, I would cry and pout and not be happy. Uh, but I would probably go with the BRN 180. Multiple reasons. One being that it is a stateside gun. Uh, it's easier to get parts or to be able to work on it. Two, because all of the accessories and controls are AR, I already have tons of that laying around the house. So if I wanted to change something out, I could with ease, usually with no extra expense or, or trouble. Uh, I love the Bryn too, but it's a little more work to find parts. It's a little more work to find different accessories. So for a piston driven 5.56 AR-esque firearm, I'm gonna go with the BRN 180. Like I said, I love both of these firearms and I'm lucky enough to have access to both. So I hope you guys enjoyed the comparison and we'll see you next time.